that are here this morning. I want to thank all of you for your coming out yesterday in the outreach ministry with Marine and Mariah Ministries. They fed Thanksgiving dinners, had more than enough clothing to give out, food to share, and thank you that we evangelized. A lot of come, a lot of in the community, some come from other areas. But I want to remind us, for the Bible tells us, go into the hedges and highways and compel men to come that your house may be filled. It's by the reaching out and touching I want to say this especially our preachers wanted to make every effort. Thank you, Minister Lee, for being here. And Reverend Thompson was here, brought all the tables and set them up for me here at 7 o'clock. It is a commitment to God. And we promised God that we would make him first. Am I right about it? Yeah. For the Bible said, if you make me first, Everything else will be added on to you. The Lord allows you to breathe all week, wake up all week, get up all week, eat all week, a place to sleep. I talked with many yesterday. The only place they have to sleep is under the bridge. And yet we get up out of a soft bed complaining. I'm thankful this morning. I'm grateful for what the Lord is doing. And I'm thankful that our associate minister will share with us this morning. I want you to pray for him firmly and sympathetically as he bring the word of God to us. And I'm grateful for all of our associate ministers. Amen. Amen. We thank you for every member because it's so important in the ch during these challenging times in which we live. So after the choir have rendered the music, the next voice we will hear will be that of our own minister, Rudy Lee Jr. Let us receive him by saying amen. amen.
give God some praise in this place. <laughs> Come on, they give God another hand clap of praise. Amen. Just begin to lift up your hands and begin to honor God. Begin to tell God thank you. Thank you. Begin to give Him glory in this place. Fruity, let's begin to tell God thank you. Thank you for all you have done, God. Thank you for the ways you have made. Yes. Hallelujah, God. I want you to do me a favor. I know we still on the COVID, but I need you to lift your voice and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, say, be blessed. No matter what life brings you, just be blessed. Let me encourage you. Let me speak life to you. You can depend on God. And this, this is the great part. I love it. It also say, when you can depend on God, you can also depend on me. Hallelujah. So I just need every able body right now to stick to what's the Be blessed, my brother. Say, be blessed, my sister. Be blessed, my sister. Say, be blessed, my brother. Be blessed, my brother. Yes, I need you. Let me speak life. Let me speak life. You can depend. You can depend on God. To speak. To speak is true. You can. You can depend on God. To pray for you. Come on, let's do it again. Be blessed. Be blessed, my sister. Come on, speak it to your name. Be blessed, my sister. Be blessed forever. This life needs you. Let me encourage you. Let me speak life to you. You can depend on God. Through. You can depend on me. You can depend on me. To pray. To pray for you.
done me a favor. If you know God to change that situation, come on begin to give God your best praise. I said give God your best praise. I didn't say play patty cake. I said if you know God to fix it and God to turn it around, say God to do it. God to turn it around. He to turn it around. Say God to turn it around. He changed his soul. He changed my mind. He changed my heart. Say God to do it. Say God to do it. Lift your voice now. See, James had already assumed 
that we will have troubles yeah, and it's possible to profit from them. That's yeah. it. That's it. The point James was making in this statement was, what? and what? still is in today's society, that don't pretend to be happy when we face trouble, but to have a positive outlook on it. 1 Peter 1, 6 and 7 said, So be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. Even though you must endure many trials for a little while, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. Yeah. It is being tested as fire tests My and purifies gold. Through your faith is far more precious than mere gold. That's it. Though when your faith is far more precious, excuse me. So when your faith remains strong yeah. through many trials, it will bring more pleasure to God and glory and honor on a day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. So that tells us, turn our hardships into a learning experience. My brothers and sisters, we can't really know the strength of our faith until we have some type of pressure. Some of us can't take pressure. And be ready to throw in a towel. Lord, Can I tell you, and I'm just saying, what don't kill you <laughs> makes you stronger. <laughs> Let me say it again. What don't kill you uh -huh. makes you stronger. Come on, son. How would you know right from wrong without doing it? My Lord. Yeah. Just like our parents told us a while back when we was young, don't touch the stove because it's hot. Uh -huh. But what we do? We go touch that stove. Yeah. We've been tested. But guess what? You learned from it. You grew from it. Uh -huh. And we still teaching that same story today to our kids and grandkids. Well, in verse 3, we go, For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Verse 4, let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. That's now, that word endurance, it keeps jumping out. All right. What is that? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Endurance yeah. is the fact or the power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process, a situation without giving away. Yeah. Give you an example. In order for a bodybuilder to make his muscles build, he got to endure some pain by pumping iron. Yeah. No pain, no gain. That's right. That's it. Same things apply. Now watch this. It is easy to be kind to others when everything is going your way. All right. But can you still be kind when others are treating you unfair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, See, God wants us to mature and be complete, yes. but not to keep us in pain constantly. But to help us learn and grow from our pain. Yeah, I teach at a truck driving school. I have some students. Some of them I want to give up. I'm like, man, God, I need a way to teach this young man because he's just not getting it. But I went and prayed for one particular young man. And by God, he's about to test out the mark. But that just shows you the power of prayer. Yeah. yeah. By faith, but going into God, going to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Not giving up. Because when he said when you're weak, then you're strong. Yeah. Yeah. Children of God, instead of complaining about our struggles, uh -huh. let's see them as an opportunity for growth. Yeah, all right. We ought to thank God for promising to be with us yeah. in our rough time. Didn't he say? He would never leave us or forsake us? Yeah, yeah. He said. Then why are y'all worrying? <laughs> why? Say that, preacher. Say that. Ask God to give you the strength to endure the problem. All right. And then be patient and let go and let God. Hallelujah. In verse 5, it says, if you need wisdom, All right. ask our generous God. And he will give it to you. 
He would not rebuke you for asking. My mind. He's six. But when you ask him, yeah. be sure that your faith is in God alone. That's Lord. That's Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. My mind. See this wisdom James was talking about? What? It's what? not only about knowledge, please, please. but it's about the ability to make wise decisions in difficult circumstances. My Lord. My brothers and sisters, whenever you need wisdom, guidance, and understanding, <laughs> pray to God and He will guide you. How I know Proverbs 2, verse 3 and verse 6 told me so. Yeah. It told me, cry out for insight gotcha. and ask for understanding. And 6 it said, in verse 6 in Proverbs it said, for the Lord grants wisdom. My mind. From his mouth comes knowledge cool. and understanding. Yeah. See, wisdom can be broken down into three characteristics. All right. One, practical. Two, divine. And three, Christ-like. All right. Practical. Wisdom from God that relates to life, even during trying time. Yeah. That's the wisdom. This wisdom can be used as a tool by which trials can be overcome. My, my. Give you a footnote. A intelligent, intelligent person can have great ideas. All right. right. But a wise person. Come on. Come on, son. <laughs> Divine wisdom comes with common sense. But common sense don't lead us to make right decisions in the middle of our trial. Well, see, God wisdom goes beyond common sense. Divine wisdom comes with respect for God. It leads us to live by God's direction. And also giving us the ability to tell right from wrong. Thank you, Lord. And Christ-like wisdom is actually to be, just like it says, Christ-like. Yeah. The Bible identifies Christ as the wisdom of God. My God. First Corinthians 1 and 1, verse 24 says, But to those that are called to salvation, yeah. both Jews and Gentiles, yeah. Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Children of God, we must believe not only in the existence of God, but also in his loving care. Yeah. That means relying on God and expecting that he will hear and answer our prayers. Thank you. Thank you. We as believers must put away our selfish thoughts and behaviors. Free. Free. When we come to God, yes, because God do not grant selfish requests. All right. We must have confidence that God will align our desires with his purpose, not our purpose, but his plain. purpose. You're making it plain. Romans 8 and 28 told me, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God. And are called according to his purpose for them. See, God already knew what he had planned for us before we even was born in our mother's womb. Come on, yeah. My brothers and sisters, it's time to quit hiding and keeping hardships and problems to yourself. It's time to show the next generation, our kids, our grandkids, All and right. everyone that's in the community that we come into, how to worship God. Yeah. In good times and bad times. My Lord. The praise we give God stands alone and shows as a testimony yeah. to everyone that God is real and God is always with us. My, 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 my. Whether you live in a, in a, whether you live in a comfortable home, some of y'all still stressed out. Still have problems. Some of y'all have fancy car. Still have problems. But that comes with living happy. But God wants us to be more than just comfortable. James 4 and 8 told me he wants us to come closer to God. That's it. And God will come closer to you 
Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your heart. For your loyalty is divided between God and the world. My Lord. My brothers and my sisters. Hallelujah. In this trial, yeah. trouble will come. Say that. Say but that. just know he will never lead you. My, my. He will guide you always. All the time. Right now, the Spirit is telling me somebody going through something right now. Well, what is diabetes? Uh -huh. High blood pressure? Say that. Say that. Problems at the job, changing career. My Lord. Even preachers have problems. Yes, sir. But guess what? They're not alone. That's it. They're not alone. Somebody may be going through a long, drawn-out divorce. Somebody might be having child custody. Somebody kids sick. COVID. Guess what? God is still here. Yeah, yeah. He's still in the healing business. All right. He can deal with anything. Some of us are probably still going through Hurricane Ida situations with problems. Insurance company not giving you enough money for your roof to get fixed. But guess what? What? But God. But God. He can turn it around. He's the only one that can turn it around. He can make a way out of no way. Can I get y'all to lift y'all hand and tell the person next to you, but God? But God. But God. Say, right. so tell the person next to y'all, it won't always be like this. So tell me how these young folks saying I'm living my best life. If this your best life, Lord, have mercy. This is a good life, but my best life is when I see him and see his face. People of God, God is still in control no matter what your situation is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give up. That's it. Don't give in. Yeah. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, yeah. but a spirit of power, yeah. love, yeah. and of a sound mind. Yeah. So when your mind feels overwhelmed, turn. Right. Turn. And go to God in prayer. He already told us in Jeremiah 29 and 11 that he knows the plan that I have for you, Glory. that they are plans for good and not disaster, that should give you a future and a hope. That's more than enough right there. So children of God, we have to keep on going. No matter what, a hot tide or emotional we get, we got to keep on going. And no trouble. Don't last always. That's it. No, thank you. My, my. I know I'm in the right spirit today because thank you, Gerard. God been talking to you. Been talking to me all night. This is not the sermon I wanted to preach, but he turned me. I wrote this yesterday. And before I say that, this song, if I didn't lift it up, because in my sermon I told my wife and I said, "Look at God. Look at God." I would draw all men all right. to me. Can I tell y'all, the devil don't want to see you happy. Yeah, yeah. He's coming to rob, steal, and kill. Yeah. And right. take your job. But he don't want you. He wants what's inside of you. Yeah. Uh -huh. He can't have what's inside of me because I belong to God. Yeah, yeah. Can't let nobody steal my job. Well, as Pastor said, this joy that I have, yes, oh, sir. the world didn't get it, yeah. and the world can't take it. That's it, yes, that's sir. it. And that's more than enough. Yeah. That's it. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 told me, trust in the Lord Come on. with all my heart. That's yeah. it. it says, do not depend mm. on your own understanding. Yeah. Seek his will in all your ways, and he will show you which path to take. Glory, glory. My brothers and sisters, just keep on holding on, knowing that God will never leave you or forsake you. My Lord. When things are going wrong, getting tough, 
I don't know what to do. I said to myself this year, <laughs> I used to worry about a lot of things. All but right. a song hit me because y'all know I like to sing. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Song, I'm not going to sing the name, but the song came and it said, I won't complain. Yeah. No matter what I'm going through, say that. No matter what I'm facing, say it, Lee. I go in my closet, yes, and I just talk to God. I just lift my hand. That's it. And just say, Lord, whatever it is, or whatever you want me to learn from this, yes. let it be done. That's the way I ask the Lord to order my footsteps. Yeah. They in Thank you, Lord. and they out. Yeah. That's why you have to keep continue to study his word. Day in yes. and day out. Day out and he seats. Yes. Don't stop praying. Don't Pray all day. day. Don't stop. All day. Glory. The devil comes Glory. at you. Trials come at you all day. Thank you. Not just sometimes, Thank but at all times. God has a way of talking to some of us. He talks to some of us in a weird hour. Yeah. Yeah. Early in the yeah. morning. Yeah. He wakes you up out of your sleep. All right. Just to talk to you. Yes. But remember. Yes. We're not on our time. Mm. We're on God's time. Yeah. That's it. So whatever you're going through, just My know God. God loves you. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah. May God continue to hold you and keep you with his next future services. Yes. Amen. Amen.